Okay, let's continue on with the course policies and resources in the syllabus. Uh, this is very important. Uh, there are some strict set of rules that you need to follow uh, when you're creating the videos and, and delivering the speeches for your videos in this class. Uh, these are the speech assignment rules. Uh, if you fail to follow any of these rules, um, I reserve the right to give you a zero uh, on the assignment. Uh, I might give you a chance to redo it um, if, if you made, made a mistake, but um, make sure that you pay close attention to these so that you don't end up with any problems. Um, this is the only time I'm going to talk about them. There'll be a module where these will be, you'll be able to read these again, but this is the only time I'm going to talk about them, so please pay close attention. Um, at the beginning of your video, you'll start by uh, stating your first and last name. So, you know, state your first and last name at the start of the video. After you identify yourself on video, I want you to take a shot of the audience. Uh, you are required to have an audience for this speech. Uh, so take a shot, turn the camera around, and show the audience. And clearly then, after you've shown the audience, show to the camera uh, each note card to the camera. Uh, I wanna see your note cards both at the start of the video and at the end of the video so that I know you're actually using the note cards that you showed me. Uh, please note that I ask that you speak before any sized audience that you can safely gather given your local pandemic response. Uh, however, I want you to have at least one person in your audience. So you need an audience of at least one person. And I'll talk more about uh, safely gathering that audience down below. Uh, but you need to have an audience and you should show that audience uh, at the start of your recording. Uh, once you begin your speech, uh, you should stand for the entirety of your speech, clear of any obstructions. So don't stand behind a podium, a table, or a countertop. Don't use anything between you and the camera. You should record your speech from the audience viewpoint. In other words, the camera should be placed in the audience facing you uh, directly head on. Uh, I must be able to clearly see your face and upper body um, from your waist up, you know, so I can see your hands while you're speaking uh, for the entire speech. I'd prefer to be able to see your entire uh, body. There's an example video uh, where I show you what this looks like. Uh, I must be able to hear you clearly for the entire speech, so make sure that you check the audio of your video. Uh, don't zoom in or zoom out. Just hold one frame the entire time. If you have one, consider using a tripod um, or a camera stand. Uh, regardless of what you use, keep the shot steady. Uh, don't move it. This means the camera, uh, that you should stand um, in, in one place without walking or pacing so that you do not leave the frame of the camera. The camera should stand still and you should remain within the frame of the camera. Don't walk around and don't have the camera panning around to follow you around. So stand still and hold the camera still. <laughs> uh, number five, the audience should sit quietly and should not interact with you while you speak. There's no need to do a question answer session or anything like that. So um, just give your speech and at the end of the speech uh, you can have the audience applause but other than that there should be no inter uh, interacting uh, with the audience. I want to see you give a speech. That's what the purpose of the class is. Uh, make sure that there's no distractions where you're recording. Uh, there shouldn't be too much noise or interference. I need to be able to hear you clearly. Uh, when you're done with your speech, take another shot of the audience. I want to make sure that they're there still, uh, that they watched the entire speech. Uh, take a steady shot at the end of the speech one more time of each of your note cards. I want to make sure that you use the note cards throughout the speech. Uh, do not, after you've finished your recording, edit your speech. No editing of the speech is allowed. Uh, any editing is an attempt to cheat and uh, will be considered um, 
a zero and 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 be course because for a failing grade in the course um, so uh, don't edit your videos it should be one take you hit start on the recording you record the entire speech from beginning to end you hit stop on the recording and that's that uh, submit that video uh, do not read your speech off of your outline or off of your note cards. Uh, don't pretend to be speaking uh, from memory and really be reading off of something, uh, maybe a script that's off screen. Uh, any type of reading uh, of the speeches is considered cheating. Uh, this is a public speaking class, not a public reading class. So students who read their speeches rather than speaking in what we'll talk about later as an extemporaneous style, a style where you are prepared uh, for memory and guided by brief notes, uh, but you aren't delivering from a manuscript. You could see page 137 for more on this. Uh, you might receive a zero on the delivery portion of the speech if you are uh, reading too much of the speech. So you need to be speaking from memory, guided by brief notes. Uh, when considering the safety of your audience um, as you're making your recording, remember they don't have to be close to you. They can be more than six feet, and, and probably should, it's a public speech, be more than six feet away from you. Uh, they can wear masks. Um, you can record in a quiet outdoor space. Uh, having an audience is vital to success in this course and will give you the closest experience we can give you to an actual uh, in-person public speaking uh, event, uh, the closest we can get in an online class. So that's why the audience is required. Uh, don't cheat in this course. Uh, don't share answers, don't share work. Don't turn in work that you've uh, created for other courses and uh, don't take other people's work and try to pass it off as your own. Um, you can read more about this here. It can have serious consequences um, from failing the class to being kicked out of the university. Uh, so uh, make sure that you uh, read about this. Uh, there'll be a workshop on plagiarism later in the semester, a quiz on plagiarism later in the semester. So make sure you, you and if you have any questions that you, you ask me uh, about it, and uh, we can hopefully avoid any problems. Uh, this course will engage in a variety of topics uh, that, that are germane to public discourse, some that you might consider controversial. Uh, we're gonna strive for open inquiry and conversation consistent with the goals of a university education, uh, and uh, we will do so in a civil manner. Uh, I have the responsibility to maintain a standard for discussion, so no hate speech or racist speech, homophobic, et cetera, et cetera. Speech will be tolerated in this course. Um, if you're engaged in uh, activity that I de deem disruptive or hostile, uh, I'll take appropriate actions to try to address that. Uh, if you have disabilities, um, I wish to make accommodations for you, so you'll have to communicate with me ahead of time. Uh, please consider using the DRC if you are asking for uh, specific accommodations, and the link for that is here. Uh, you have to advocate for yourself, but uh, I, can help, I can help you uh, advocate for yourself if, if um, you're not um, getting the accommodations you need, so please reach out. If you need extra help with public speaking, there are communication centers and communication tutors that you can access on campus and online through the Smart Thinking Tutors. Um, so check out this information. These are folks who have passed public speaking and can help you pass this class as well. Uh, the librarians can help you and the library website can help you. Uh, if you are trying to get a degree, uh, consider talking to an advisor so that you can get through CSN without wasting your time and your money. Please pursue a degree while you're here. Um, if you are having trouble affording groceries or you're having psychological stress or issues and you'd like to talk to somebody about that, uh, the um, counseling and psychological services at this link can help you. Uh, I'm an ally of the LGBTQ community, so if you uh, are seeking information or questions regarding sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, um, 
you can message and reach out to me and start a conversation about that. There's also a link to a group on campus. Campus. Here is a uh, description of our refund policy and some links you can get to through that. Uh, that's all I wanted to say about the syllabus. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the course calendar.